Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this spring gradient with some fun Easter eggs on top. But the Easter eggs actually didn't turn out quite as cute as they did in my head and that's why they're only on one hand. But I will show you how I did them. So if you're interested to see that, just stay tuned. Just a quick Naked Nails update. If you missed my past couple of videos, I had to rebuild the corner on this nail and also on this one. Still growing out the breaks on my thumbs. And then just a couple days ago, I broke my pinky doing something I do every single day at work and just managed to do in extremely klutzy fashion. So I've already got my base coat applied. For my base color, I'm going to be using Orly White Tips. And then I'm going to be sponging a gradient using Lemonade, Gumdrop, Snow Cone, and Cashmere Cardigan. Once your base color is dry, you can go ahead and start sponging. I did decide to tape up my fingers just to make the cleanup a little bit easier. And then I've got just a small makeup sponge here. I've removed the tape and cleaned up around the edges the remaining polish with a brush and some polish remover. And I'm actually going to wear this gradient plain for a day. So I'm going to go ahead and add top coat. If you wanted to, obviously you could move right into the taping part as soon as your gradient is dry. And if you're impatient, you could use a fast dry top coat to speed that up too. Well, instead of wearing this gradient on its own just for a day, I actually ended up wearing it on its own most of the week due to some other things that came up. But I did want to finish the design and show you guys what I originally had in mind. I have some zigzag strips of tape here that I've just cut with a pair of pinking shears. And I'm going to go ahead and apply those on my nails in a couple of different patterns. Alright, now that I have the tape applied, and it's purple instead of blue because it's a different kind of tape I'm trying. It's not quite as thick as painter's tape, and I thought that might be a little easier to handle. Um, I'm basically going to draw or paint an egg shape over the zigzag using orly white tips. And I'm going to try to just do it with the polish brush. And I'll see how that goes. I may get a smaller brush if it doesn't work out too well.
Now that my eggs are done, I'm just going to peel off the tape. And I do like the thinness of this tape as compared to painter's tape, but I didn't like that it seemed to leave some purple behind in some cases, uh, which made the white come off a little speckly. And you guys can see that the white is a little gummy here. I really should have taken the tape off as soon as I finished painting but I didn't and this is what happened hopefully I'll be able to smooth it out with top coat wow that's really stringy uh, maybe I should have used even acrylic paint instead of polish but this is what happens when you do nail art sometimes doesn't always turn out as you planned. I'm gonna hope that top coat smooths everything out since the tape didn't come off as smooth as I'd planned. So here's the finished design and the top coat did help to smooth out some of the inconsistencies but I do in hindsight think I should have gone with either white acrylic paint or just like a thinner white polish and I should have followed my own usual advice and taken off the tape as soon as I finished painting instead of waiting until I did the whole hand. But I think this gives you guys at least an idea of what I was thinking. You can see some different options of how you can place the zigzag tape to get the different designs. And you see I used three strips on my thumb instead of just two. But let me know what you think of this design overall. And if you give it a try yourself, feel free to share on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. And as always... Thanks for watching.